Hey everybody, this is Mike. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 to remove the background from an image. So it could be for use in PowerPoint or just removing the background from an image so you can save it and use it somewhere else without that background. So, for example, let's say I've got uh, this slide here. And as you can see, I've got an image. And this is pretty common that you'd have an image with a white background or any kind of other color. Um, and unfortunately, if it wasn't saved with a transparent background, there's usually not much you can do unless you have Photoshop or some other program to remove that background. Well, in 2010 version of PowerPoint, we can come up here into the Format tab on the ribbon, and there's a new option called Remove Background. And it works pretty intuitively if you just click Remove Background. In this case, because the contrast is so different between the image uh, and the background, it recognizes it pretty well. So you can see all this pink area is what it has recognized as something that might want to be removed. So you can change this and I'll show that in a second, but right now I'm just going to leave it like this and I'll just click keep changes. And as you can see, just like that, that quickly, a matter of seconds, I've removed the background. So no matter how I resize this, it has a transparent background. So I could use that as a logo or something like that in the top. I'll show you on the next slide, another place where this could come in handy. Again, I've got a picture in the background here that does not have a transparent background and then I've got a clip art or anything else but the issue is I would like for this image to show the guy drawing the star so I want that star to be behind his head and actually behind his hand uh, with the way the image is right now there's really no way I can do it but if I can remove the background uh, then that makes that possible so I'm gonna click on the image and again and under the format tab of the ribbon I'll go to remove background you see it takes a guess at what I want to remove and with images this can be pretty tricky. In this case that's not what I want but all I do is I just adjust the bar to show what I want and in this case I just want to keep the guy. So I'm going to move it over here. You see it starts guessing differently. I'll move it past his shoulder. And there we go. Just like that it has cut him out. Now if I wanted to get a little more in depth with it, let's say I have his full body shown here you can see it's clipping this guy's shoulder. If I zoom in a little bit, I have the option here in the ribbon to mark areas to keep and mark areas to remove. So if it's uh, saying it's going to remove something like his collar up here, I can say that I want to keep that. So I'll just go like this and I draw a line. All you do is click and drag and it'll recognize that you want to keep that area so it'll keep it for you. So the same way works with areas to remove. So I'm going to say I want to remove this area down here, like draw over it, it recognizes it and removes it. So you can play around with that, you can just hit undo or redo whenever uh, you're playing with it to make small adjustments, but as you can also see it's removed his hand, so I need to say I want to keep that. Mark areas to keep, and I'm just going to draw a line over his hand, and now it's kept his hand. So then if I zoom back out, and I click off the picture, you can see now it's cut him out and that image still exists so if I wanted to make it smaller I could crop it down but uh, that just keeps it so that if in the future I wanted to come back here and say remove background discard all changes I could do that and it would bring back everything else in the image so 2010 PowerPoint smart enough to keep the image data for me while I'm working but in this case I'm just gonna click off and now I can take this uh, star image that I have here and if I just reorder it, I'm going to send it to the back. And just like that, without very much work at all, I was able to put that star in the background so it looks like my character is actually drawing, drawing it. So as you can see, there's a lot of uses for that, especially if you're doing some e-learning or creating presentations. But uh, it's definitely not perfect. If you want it to be perfect with crisp lines or you've got images with some kind of fuzzy backgrounds or shadows, you might need something like Photoshop. But uh, for quick, easy edits, the Remove Background feature in PowerPoint 2010 does a pretty good job.